Welcome back to episode 4 on the Dolphin Pro from Ed Mercy. Um, if you didn't make it to episode 3, go and check that out. I will link that uh, e there. Yeah, <laughs> there for right, you know. Nothing uh, you can figure while staring at a camera pointing in opposite direction. Well, what do I have for you today? Um, as promised, I have been looking into all the Turing stuff to make the Dolphin Pro even fly a bit better. So um, I will take you on several flights with uh, this little marvel. I really like it. And uh, well, yeah, you can see I even got the old prop again. That's uh, something I will tell you about later. Um, so to start off with, we will look at some uh, tuning uh, flights, just uh, some edits of it, as it will bore you to death. I just will post about 70 to 20 minutes flight footage that just is tuning up and down, up and down, up and down, roll, 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 roll. No way, no way. Nothing I will um, put on your screen for now, but uh, some moments I will pick and just narrate them. So hang on and welcome to this episode four. We will get there and we will get it flying and you will see all the tuning data I figured for me, uh, which will cover PIDs, um, oscillation and such stuff. So um, yeah, hang on and let's start with the intro. Just FPV. Part one, oscillation. There's one thing in all the videos across the net where you can see the dolphin is doing something like the same everywhere. It's dolphining, it's oscillating, it's bouncing, pitch bobbing, whatever you call it. You can see it here in this clip of mine. So I adjusted my OSD to even show me the position pits and you can see it's flashing here and I'm trying to look at it. 30, 5, 10. And that's for, that was about the time before somebody came up saying it's 10, 5, 0 oh, and it cures a lot. That was a dude called Prop Cycles 2. Kudos for that. And we other took it for granted and tried it out. Also Andrew Newton tried this out and I did so as well. But that wasn't the cure for everything. It was still bouncing up and down sometimes. I talked to my friend Olivier and asked him, hey, how is your Dolphin Pro? Is it oscillating? He said, nah, I just pushed up uh, the CG of five to eight millimeters in front and it was gone. Um, well, I said, uh, I'll try that, but it didn't help for me. So I watched one of my old videos where uh, that case already have been up and um, that was back in the days with the AR wing. Well, I was about uh, to put the P value to 50 and was gone, but uh, something in IMF 8 has changed and make this thing run differently than before. So I was experimenting with those pits and uh, uh, putting it up and down. You can see here, we are up and down still. Uh, no help, no joy. So I dropped that idea and um, well, changed back to 10, five or later to find it a bit slower or less bouncy. Depending upon how your setup is running, 10.5.0 might be a good starting point, but be aware you will have to adjust that values according to your setup and make it even better. So did I, values coming later. Here is a good example why you need to tune that. And no, don't take this as a final tune. This is not my tuning. This is how it is dangerous to fly and uh, certainly can take you down. Hmm. Part two, the tuning. Let's just jump straight into the tuning flight and you can see everything is just bouncing still. And we'll look at the PIDs and the position PIDs, which says 10, 5, oh, you see I adjusted it and uh, still it was bouncing. Yeah, but that was not the focus on this flight. The focus was to get this stable and we'll have a lot of fun with this. With RTH not just freaking out, but keeping the bird in the air and getting us home, it's a bit safer to start the tuning. Time to get some safe altitude and uh, well, we'll skyrocket up and uh, give it a go from here, shall we? thing to tune is of course the pitch axis with the FF value of 255. 
which is off the rim. Yet again, I've uh, sped up the video by factor 4 so you can puke easily while we are getting back to the Rolexes some seconds later. But somehow, the tuning didn't do anything with the FF value. After pushing the nose up and down, left, right and all around, those guys coming here along and that made auto-tune a big fun. Finally it was time to just say, well, that might be it, or whatever it is, it works. Let's check out Horizmo and RTH once more and see how good we did. What looks sweet at this point it turns into a little bouncing up and down the road. Well, I guess we'll have to live with that for now. Oh, watch out! There's a fella up there! Let's go for it! And I guess that's it about the first initial tuning which I like, especially as it flies really good. Well, this little bounce in the RTH, well, as long as the plane gets back, I can live with this for now. Let's see if we find a better solution. Let me show you the final tunes for that day, so you can put it into yours if you like. Now, that tuning was fun, wasn't it? Doesn't have to be boring after all. But next time we will go for something much more exciting. So hang with me and uh, we'll see you again next time.